Welcome back to our series, Cheap Thrills, Just How Cheap Can I Live? This is Sandy with Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming, slash Arizona. And today we're talking about food. That's right, food. We eat it every single day. And that is an expense that we have. Now I did some research because I love facts. And in 2012, the average American household spent 6.4% of their income on just food. Now that could be food that they ate out or they were eating at home. But now in 2019, because that's the latest statistics I could get because 2020 just ended. So the US Department of Labor statistics did not have that information um, to update it for 2020. But in 2019, it had moved from the 6.4% in 2012 to 12.9% for a couple and 13.3% for a family. Now, if you, there was more than two kids, that is even higher. And that's a lot of expense. Now, when you say percentages, it's like, well, that's not that much money. Surely it's not. But the average family in 2019 spent over eight thousand dollars in for just food just eating now that's a lot of money and i get a cheap thrill if i can cut that if i could cut that by 20 percent or 25 percent that is a huge savings so today we're going to talk about food now i know a lot of people they just don't like to clip coupons they just don't like to. They just want to have their grocery list and go through the store, in, out, and they're done. But almost every Wednesday in every newspaper across the country, they have grocery ads. On Sunday's paper, they have coupons. Coupons for restaurants, coupons for products. And really, it doesn't take you very much time to clip some coupons. Now, every Wednesday morning when I get the newspaper, because my mom and dad, they read it first, then they give it to me. Then we get to read the newspaper. And on Wednesday mornings, I go through all the ads. Now, there are four major grocery chains where we live. There's some other ones, but four major ones. And I meticulously go through these, knowing things I want to um, cook in the next week and things I might be able to buy to either put in the freezer or that I can can, things I might drink. Now I've been making a lot of lemonade because my parents have a lemon tree and there's lemon trees all over by where we live. And so I've made blueberry, I made regular lemonade, I made orange juice, I made grapefruit juice, I made um, blackberry lemonade, strawberry lemonade, but I have been waiting to make raspberry lemonade. And today, 97 cents for a container versus two for $5 or three for $10. This is a good deal for me. So what I do when I get these, I go through all the different stores so I start to mark. Now I know I want to get raspberries. And you always have to look, do I need a card with that to get that? If you haven't downloaded or uploaded a different grocery app, sometimes you can't get that price. But because Fry's is actually part of a corporation for a grocery store we have back home, I just have to put my phone number in. Well, they might have a special digital and that's the butter dollar 49 unless you have the app you cannot get that so it's a good thing to do like my favorite is ribeyes i'm going to buy some ribeyes today i'm going to make enough buy enough so that i can have it one time this week and a couple times more so i can put it in the freezer and i just go through anything that we are in need of I'm going to get and I just mark it with an X 
Now, do I want to go to every single grocery store around town? No. Where it, when I can get ground beef for $1.77 a pound and roast for $2.99 a pound, I'm willing to go to two different grocery stores. Now, all these sales are on for a week. See how Albertsons has a click or clip or click. So if you don't have an app, you can get that. I have an app, so I go through my grocery store and I use the app to mark that down so I always get my bargain. Now Sunday's paper is really good for restaurant ads. A&W, um, Subway, Jack in a Box. So if these are places that you go to, these are good things to save. Now you always have to look at expiration dates. Like these all expire the 19th of February. So that gives me a while to use them. But then a lot of times coupons are really interesting. Because these Triscuits, they're only good till in February. But if I go over to the eggs that are on with a coupon, that's all the way into April. That's a coupon I can save. Even if I'm not using it right now, I can use it later. And that saves me some money. Always save your receipt. You always want to look at it, go through it, make sure you are charged the right amount. Over the last two days, I've gone to two different places. All of these items here, I went to a place that's called Green Tree Grocery Outlet. And every town has something like this. In Wyoming and South Dakota, they call them Rob's. Here they call them green trees. But it's an interesting type of outlet because everything is way less expensive than you would regularly pay. Now I love tuna creations. I like that it's wild cut. Um, there's different flavors. I like the lemon pepper. At Green Tree today, these are 50 cents a piece. Now I can put them in salads, I can make sandwiches. That's a good deal for me. Organic breakfast tea. As you know, I'm a teetotaler. I like it that all the profits go to charity. Great tea. The whole box, just a dollar. They have vegetables there. And I've bought multiple of these butternut squashes since I've been here. And they run usually about $1.75 a piece, not a pound a piece. The interesting thing is they have a lot of organic items in there. Annie's macaroni organic pasta, white cheddar and broccoli mac, a dollar. Then for that snacking time during the day, boom chicka pop, microwave popcorn, two dollars. All of these items and I have 10 of these packs. I spent $14. It's a good deal for me. Now yesterday, we went to the date farm. And last night I posted a video on when I was taking these dates, some of the dates, and making what I call California turds. They're a chocolate-covered date that have pecans inside. Now, it was a better deal to get 11 pounds of dates instead of two pounds. Now, the two pounds would have cost me $14, but 11 pounds is only $27. And you might say, Sandy, I can't use all that, that many dates. Share them. They, sh they ship them all over the country. You just contact them and they will mail it out to you. Usually when I get mine shipped up to Wyoming, it takes costs about 10 to $11 in shipping. Not a bad price, I don't think. But they're great dates. Soft, juicy, plump, and I love dates. They're good for you to eat. I once read a doctor say that you should eat two of them a day. Now Joe likes to snack a little bit. And so I got him some French burnt um, peanuts. He loves these. And you get half a pound, $1.75. Pineapple rings that we've been eating on, half a pound, two seventy. 
But the real reason I went there was to get the coconut because today I'm making a coconut cake. And this coconut is exceptionally tasting coconut. So though we had to drive about 22 minutes, that was worth it to me. When you leave the grocery store, actually I do it before I leave the grocery store. I go through my whole receipt to make sure that everything was priced the way it was supposed to be priced. Yesterday I'm in the grocery store and I was buying a glass mixing bowl. It was 50% off, and so it should have only been four dollars and some cents. When it rang up, it didn't give me the 50% off. So because I looked at that, I could go right over to the, the, the register and she could correct that. And so that saved me four dollars. Well, and you say, oh, it's just four dollars. Well, four dollars going to the grocery store once a week adds up. That's over two hundred dollars. If every single week I had something wrong at four dollars 52 weeks in a year that's over two hundred dollars that's two hundred dollars that we could put an emergency fund um a going out and having fun fun you know fund a vacation fund anything we wanted just be careful watch because sometimes they haven't updated the register and it misses something just watch it and it saves you money now, we have what they call a green tree. It's a grocery outlet here in Yuma. Most places have things like that. Up in Wyoming and South Dakota, they're called ROBs. And some things are like dented cans. Now, one of the things I do when I go through my grocery um, flyers is if I have a coupon that matches that, I will write that on my flyer so that I remember to give the checker a coupon that goes with that almost always on your grocery receipt it will tell you every time that you made something was on sale and at the bottom it should give you the total of your savings that savings money is a great way to say I saved $18 I'm gonna take $18 out of my checking account or out of my purse and I'm gonna put that in another fund you can allocate that however you want to. But it makes it so you can have a much fuller, satisfied life when you're not spending so much money putting things out for just everyday expenses. And you have an emergency fund, you have a savings fund, a vacation fund, college fund, whatever you're using that for. For us, it's living in two places um, instead of one. And we have been having a blast here in Arizona. And we've decided that every year we're gonna do that. But that means I have to be very careful with my money. And I get a cheap thrill every time I save a dollar. I hope you do too. Take the time, it becomes really a game to me. How much money can I save today? How can I change that $20 price tag to a $15 price tag? It's just a cheap thrill. I'll see you next week.